Let's review last Sunday. We talked about treasure. Yes, laying up treasures in heaven is more important than storing up treasures here on earth. You know, each of us have a spiritual center. It's innate in everyone. Jesus said that we can feel very enlightened but still be in the dark if our spiritual center is lit by the light of the world. However, the light that Jesus offers will make it so that you care more about God's kingdom than what you can buy with money. We also quickly looked at worry last week and how Jesus invites us to relax, to rest, knowing that our Heavenly Father knows exactly what we need. And as we seek or desire to be like Him, to care about what He cares about, He will care for us just like He cares for the birds. They always seem to have enough. This may seem strange to you unless you've begun to enter in, to live into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom that Jesus was talking about. And when we do, we experience a deeper reality of God, a deeper desire to give to the needy, to pray in secret, and to fast from all this world offers. These three topics were key in the beginning of chapter 6. In this coming week, Darren Sanford will be speaking, and we will be in Matthew chapter 7, talking about being a little too critical of our friends and neighbors. Jesus says, don't pick them apart as if you're higher than they are. It's fair to be a fruit inspector, but unfair if when you do it, you delight in feeling superior. If you want to help your friend with something in their eye, deal with your own sin first. You still have to be careful, though, because not everyone will be open to your observations. Humility continues to be a key theme in the kingdom of God. Psalm 131 would be a helpful chapter to meditate on. It's not very long. It's something that you can read and think about quickly as you prepare to be part of our Sunday gathering. The psalmist says, My heart is not proud, in verse 1. My eyes are not haughty two critical perspectives for someone who wants to live in the kingdom. In verse 2, there's the theme of cultivating a stillness, a quietness of soul. And in our world, with interruption after interruption, we need to find a stillness, a place of quietness for our souls. Marsha and I just bought a used camper because we're hoping to find some quietness and stillness for our souls. These are places where I feel like God meets with me. Where is it God meets with you? It's important to find places of soul rest if you want the Spirit to direct your steps as Jesus did. At the end of Psalm 131 verse 2 in the NIV, he uses the word resting contently or contentment. Like a young child who's at rest with his mom or dad. The secret to finding rest for one's soul is practicing the ever-present awareness of God. I look forward to being with you on Sunday, on Zoom, or in the room. And until then, take a look at Matthew chapter 7, the first few verses, and then spend a little time reading Psalm 131. There are only like three verses. I think you can fit it into your busy schedule. God bless, and we'll see you on Sunday.